Okay. Start Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio Community. You'll see Visual Studio Community Edition. Basically, it's full. It's the full version of Visual Studio, but it's free. Which is great. Downloads. Visual Studio Ultimate? No. No, 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 no. Here. This is what we want. Community. So anyway, we've downloaded that and we run it. Now, this is Visual Studio. If you're not familiar with Visual Studio, it's one of the best IDEs in the world. You can use it for C, C++, C Sharp, Visual Basic I think. <coughs> File, New, Project. Now I've installed a plugin for Visual Studio and it's called Visual GDB. So now that I've installed Visual GDB, when I create a new project, I can choose a Visual GDB project and make a Linux project. There it is, Linux project 1. I'll call it, I'll, I'll put it in so we're going to create a new Linux project called Linux Project 1. Now when you do that with Visual GDB, you'll get options. We'll just make it an executable application. And we've got a Hello World template there as well. Next, it's all very easy to use. Now we have the setting here, remote computer, and that's our Raspberry Pi. So I've turned on the Raspberry Pi. Um, its IP address is 10.0.0.70. And you can log in using a secure shell. Just to test. Here it is. Logged into our Raspberry Pi. And I'll exit. So that's all good. So there are two ways you can set up a visual GDB project. One is where you compile everything on your local PC and then put the executable on the Raspberry Pi. The other way is to actually compile build on the Raspberry Pi itself and that's the easiest way and that's the way I've done it. So you're editing on the PC here, the local PC, but you're compiling and running remotely on the Raspberry Pi. Debugging works transparently as if you're, it's quite smooth, you don't notice it. It's running on the Raspberry Pi as you're debugging. It's very responsive and, and it's been quite stable. Well, very stable. So that's the way I do it. So if I tick, tick this, build the project locally with a cross compiler, that means we're building locally and we have to get all the libraries, header files from the Pi onto the PC. But we'll just leave them there and we'll build remotely and we'll use the Raspberry Pi to do everything for us. Next.
so it checks that you've got GCC installed on your Raspberry Pi and that's something you use apt-get to get so it's a standard package download that not included in this tutorial but it's fairly easy a few other settings just keep the defaults And it's created a project for us called Linux Project 1 with a source file. What's in there? Hello World. Okay, we'll run that. See if it runs. Haven't even done anything. Build it. So it's connecting to the Raspberry Pi, building using GCC, and giving us all the output messages locally build succeeded so we'll run it wow look at that it ran so hello world pop up and then it exited and it told us it exited without any breakpoints so in order to see something we'll put a breakpoint in just like using C sharp or C++ on the PC just put a breakpoint in there start debugging connecting to the Raspberry Pi and running and look we've got a breakpoint I'll step over that hello world and that's actually running on the Raspberry Pi and it's being debugged here locally on this PC too easy so now we can create our Raspberry Pi project manage it debug it using Visual Studio so in summary if you're familiar with Microsoft Visual Studio and you like to use the interface you can now use it to do Raspberry Pi development but the key thing is to install Visual GDB and that's something I had to buy and it plugs into Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition so here we go I'll show you where Visual GDB is visualgdb.com so how much would you pay for such a great utility great tool well, I think it was it wasn't much you can try it for free and when you buy it it's Yeah, Raspberry Pi and Beaglebone support. So the Linux edition, 89 euros. Best 89 euros you, you'll ever spend. That's it.